My name is Nancy Alcorn and I am the CEO and alchemist for Global Wellness Naturally, which is a, a company that's making energy medicine in the form of water, I program water. So I'd like to introduce to you, in case you haven't heard of this book and the work by Dr. Emoto, it's, it's groundwork. This is, the, this is the bedrock on which the energy medicine that's coming past this work is coming from, this man's work. So it's very simple, it's also very profound. He, well we all know that if you take water and freeze it, you get snow, snowflakes, ice cube, crystals. And he understood this and he became fascinated with this possibility of how is it that there are millions of snowflakes all over the world, none of them are the same. What's going on? How is that even possible? What a mystery. Well, I think he's discovered the answer. Water is able to be programmed readily by whatever it's brought into contact with. It's truly magical, such a thing can even be. But he started getting a little suspicious. So you see this beautiful crystal, this, this is a snowflake. This is actually what he's done in his lab. So he decided that he would simply say something nice to water. I love you. Okay, how simple is that? And then he would freeze it. And then he would photograph it and he'd get a gorgeous crystal. Then he would try saying, you're such a turkey, I can't stand you, or whatever. And he would get no crystal at all, it would be deformed. Aha! Water seems to be able to hear, or at least feel my thoughts. How interesting. So he would play music. Beethoven, beautiful crystal, heavy metal, not so good. Um, he would have a priest. Um, I, what do they have in Japan? Shinto, maybe not saying it right. You know what I mean. He would have a priest come out to a pond that was toxic and have the priest bless it. He would get water before and then freeze it and get his crystal that was not so good. And then afterwards he'd get a gorgeous crystal. So he started to understand that water can be programmed, it can be worked with. Truly, he doesn't speak English. I, I heard him once on a, on a small little thing like what I'm doing, a short period of time, have a conversation with someone. But when I saw him in, in LA at the beach at this conference for water, he had a translator. So I'm sure he was comfortable speaking Japanese. He's a Japanese man. I don't speak Japanese, I speak English. and. I talk to water. Water hears me and responds. Water hears him and responds. So that tells me water can speak any language. Water can hear. Water doesn't have ears. What's going on here? It's truly magical. Interesting. And we're 70% water. You have to be really careful. If you get mad at someone, don't go tell them what you think of them because you're programming their water and you'll make them feel bad, literally, energetically, you'll make them sick. So we have to be very aware of the power that we have because we're walking around in little water suits and we're able to affect other people profoundly by what we say or even our intentions. So this is a very important um, researcher to me and it has become um, where my work has taken off from his place and I'm very grateful. All the New Age metaphysical folks who know about this man are going like this, truly. That important. So I wanted to share with you, Dr. Emoto. Thank you.